So a flustum is made by removing a small cone from a large cone. Okay, so you got they literally took off the tip. However, they are mathematically similar. So all that means is that they're proportionally um, different. Okay, they have the same shape but just different in proportion. Now it tells us that the large cone has a base radius of r and a height of h. So let's go ahead and imagine this for a second here. Yeah? The volume of the frostum over the volume of the large cone represented by 90 and 125 parts. So if we consider that the volume of frostum itself is 98 parts and the whole cone is 125, this means that the leftover bit, and let me just change the color, the small cone bit, guys, must be just a little 27 parts. Okay? It makes sense because 27 plus 98 will give us 125 parts. Okay? So that tells us that the volume of the small cone or the volume of the large cone is has a relationship of 27 out of the 125 parts. Cool. Now, what does this tell us? Well, when you work with math mathematically similar things, this tells us that um, the volume, that, that the scale fact in general are all related. So I, I pretty much like jot this down. When you work in lengths, you have, let's say, let's say that the, the ratio between the, sh the small cone and large cone is represented by K. This means that the areas between them is K squared and the volume between them is K cubed. And no, and by the way, the K's are all the same. The only difference are the powers. So look at this number again. We're looking at the relationship between the volume between the small and large cone, which is this. So technically 27 over 125 equals to K squared, or K cubed, I mean. That means if you want to find the lengths, and by the way, we want the lengths because height is the length. We can say that to find K, we can just literally K, uh, cube root this, and that will give us about three fifths. So we can say now that the relation between the small cone to the large cone has a height of three to five parts. So what I'm saying here, if that if this part were, if this had a height of three parts, that means the full length has a height of five parts. Okay. Now, if you look at the if you look at the variable, we call it h. Here. So let me just get this 98. This means if the whole thing is h, this means the height of this part is three fifths of h. Makes sense. So this is three fifths of h, meaning the thrust in the remainder bit is two fifths of h. And yeah, guys, that's literally it. I mean, I think we solved it. And then you get two fifths of h. Yeah. So this one is a bit I uh, can't explain. I actually recorded this video at least seven times, you know, just, just to literally explain the best way I can. So if you guys enjoyed my explanation, please give me a like or any suggestions or feedback. And otherwise, um, yeah, memorize, like literally memorize this group of formulas because this is actually going to help you a lot, especially this whole scale factor concept.